I really wanted to have three penny boxes for this hunt and fill episode, mainly because we're going to end on box 99 at the end of this video. And that's kind of a kind of a bummer thing. I was hoping to get three boxes, but this week I picked up quite a few uncirculated penny boxes. So we're stuck doing a two box hunt. Stay tuned for episode 56, boxes 98 and 99. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, would have been nice to end at box 100 after this episode, but could not get circulated pennies to save my life. We did manage to get two boxes though, so at least we have a two box hunt. For those of you new to my channel or new to the series, what we're trying to do is complete a Dance Co. Penny album from just Coin Roll Hunting. Now obviously there's going to be some tough dates in here that we're probably not going to find Coin Roll Hunting, but we'll keep our eyes peeled. If you'd like to start the playlist at box one, I always have it linked both down below as well as up here for your convenience. That being said, we did add a couple of uh, cents the last few episodes, but we're stuck at 191 out of 234 cents slotted through 97 boxes. So hopefully we find some goodies in these boxes, either upgrades or additions for the album. Now we'll take a look at the album after the hunt after we compare the finds to see if we have any of those additions or upgrades but let's not do it in the front of it because there's no reason to if you've been following along you know what we need we need 30s and earlier we could use some steel cents we need semi-key and key dates you name it now i did of course validate that these were circulated cents and they are so we're ready to begin the hunt 100 rolls two local boxes can we get some goodies i will bring you guys in if and when we have a find. Well, I'm going to have a pretty good find here in roll number 10. And yes, we're already on roll 10 because we have found no wheat cents, only a 69S. But I bring you in because, uh, take a look at this. 2009 San Francisco minted. And for those that don't know, the proofs minted in 2009... We're minted out of copper. This is going to be one of those Lincoln uh, scents that has uh, the four different reverse designs. Which one is it? And it's the birth and uh, early child year. So can't get mad at that. Holy cow. 2009. 100 year anniversary of the Lincoln scent. And that should be copper. Let's go ahead and weigh it up just to confirm. And if I recall, there's less than 3 million of those minted. Yeah. We've got a 2009 S proof, birth and childhood years, San Francisco minted, copper scent. It's in circulated condition, but you can't get mad at that at all. Wow. Good find. And I missed it by the edge, but I'll tell you, I did see it as I was approaching it, but I thought it was just one of those kind of uh, gold toned zinc scents. And then all of a sudden I noticed the fields as I got closer. Anyway. We'll take that all day. Great find. Haven't found one of those in a long time. 10 rolls in. No weed sense. Well, holy smokes, guys. Took us 23 rolls into this box. And uh, other than a 59, a 69S, and that beautiful copper 2009S proof, we finally have a weed scent. My boxes have definitely slowed down on weed scent production this last couple of weeks, but I'll take any I can get, even if they're a 1958 Denver last year weed scent. Roll 25, wheat scent number two. Maybe the second half of the box will be better. 1952 Denver. Well, it's been a really tough hunt and we're on roll 49 and we just finally got the third wheat scent of the hunt and it's just going to be a 56P. It's odd how bad this box is for wheat scents when it's been pretty good for coppers and we found that cool copper proof that I never expected to find, or at least not find again in circulation. So definitely an odd box, definitely a slow box, but I guess even duds have their dandies once in a while. One more roll, plus this to go, three on the board. Well, we finished that tough hunt, and you know what? It's kind of like being down 12 points all game and then hitting a three-point field goal with no time left to lose by nine. That's what it felt like, because technically, that's a great find, and had we just had a handful more wheat cents, 
I would have enjoyed the hunt a lot more. Not that I didn't have fun because I got to scope a lot of cents, but 350's wheat cents is a tough box. And I will tell you, that's like the third low count wheat cent box in a row for me. Might be time to chest out some new banks. Either way, we did score 1988 Canadian cent, 159, and actually 369 S's, and I only see one or two at the most per box. So it's nice seeing three of those, and we did get nearly half a cup of copper. So all the other stuff was not that bad, just not enough wheat cents. Hopefully box two, box 99 of the series, does better than this. Roll 57 out of 100. And we're finally going to have a pretty exciting roll because I've got a wheat scent here that i got to uncover. When I flatten them out, I've got a second one. First wheat scent. You know what? It's only another 50s, but that's a 54S. Tougher date. And it's not in that bad a shape. If we don't need it, maybe it'll be an upgrade. And then the second wheat scent for number five, finally. And that's a 41 Denver. We'll take it. That's the oldest of the box. Finally making some progress. Roll 59 or the ninth roll of the box. And we already have our third wheat scent. So we've already tied last box in the first nine rolls. And that's a 50 Philadelphia. Roll number 65. And we have our seventh wheat scent. And I already saw it on verse facing. 1942 Philadelphia. Roll number 69. And we have wheat scent number eight of 57 Denver. It's been a little bit since our last wheat scent, but we're on roll 84 of the two box hunt and we will have wheat scent number nine. Unfortunately, it's another 50s find, 57D. One away from double digits finally after 84 rolls. Very next roll, roll 85, we have double digits. Wheat scent 10 is a 47 Denver. Roll 86, three rolls in a row with the wheat scent. We now have 11, and that's a 48D. Roll number 87 is gonna give us our fourth roll in a row with the wheat scent, and it's an older one. I saw it's a 30s with a mint mark. And that's a 1935 Denver. We'll just double check it, and it is. We recently found this because we needed it forever. We'll take that first from the 30s, 12 wheat cents, four rolls in a row. Is the box going to finish up strong again? Roll number 96 is going to give us our 13th wheat cent of the hunt, but more importantly, I'm excited about it because it's our 10th of the box. It may be an ugly 1953 Philly with a lot of damage, but I'll take 10 anytime in a box. Roll number 99 will give us our 14th wheat cent. I already saw it. 1955 Denver. We'll add it to the board and hope to get one more. Well, no last roll luck, but you know what? We will definitely take 14 wheat cents, 11 in the second box, only three in the first box. But you know what? It's a pretty good amount of years, and we did get a 35D, which is a lower mint. Unfortunately, we didn't get any for the album yet again, but we're only through 99 boxes, and I said that once I hit 100, I might start getting some customer wraps just to mix in with the hunts, maybe a box and some customer wraps. We'll see. Either way, 99 boxes down, nothing more to add, but we will check for upgrades against the book. At the end of the day, we filled the Copper Cup. We got three Canadians, four 59s, a nice 69S, not the DDO, four more 69Ss for a total of five, which again is a lot more than I normally get. The find of the hunt's going to be this lower minted 2009S copper proof scent, the birth and early childhood years. You can't get mad at that. I'll take that even in circulated condition. Let me comb through the finds, although I'm pretty sure we don't have anything to add or upgrade, but let me just double check and bring you back with a look at the book. Well, I compared the finds to the album, and unfortunately we had no additions as expected, but we did actually upgrade that 54S. I know it's not perfect, but it has a little bit of red, just a splash, so it definitely is better than the brown scent we had in there. Always good getting an upgrade after 99 boxes. Unfortunately, with no additions, we're stuck at 191 out of 234 finds through 99 boxes, and that means it's going to get even more difficult going this point forward, and like I mentioned, I might start mixing in some customer wrap rolls just to mix it up a little bit and see if we can get some lucky scores. At the end of the day, though, we haven't done 100 boxes yet, 
43 more spots, and there are still findable scents, so hopefully find them over the next several hunts. If you're enjoying this Penny Hunt and Phil series, I would definitely appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.